And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It's Bologna up against Inter. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And this is the lineup for Bologna. Well, 3 5 2 is a good system only if you have top class wing backs because they have such a key role. They have to cover the whole length of the field, both with and without the ball. Inter's lineup is as follows. Sami Handanovic begins in goal. Stefan de Frey plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Arturo Vidal in central midfield. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. An attractive match in store, and it's Inter who get the game underway. Perisic has someone to play it to, and he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. The attack looks promising. Perisic. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Well, a striker with the ability to do damage against any defence, Marco Arnautovic. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Keeping the ball moving. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Alessandro Bastoni Chalanolu now Dzeko Ivan Perisic Martinez this is looking threatening a chance to whip it in now Inter unable to retain possession Hickey He's given the ball away unnecessarily. Chalanolu. Dumfries. A really effective shielding under pressure. 
Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Good work to regain possession. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Oh, sorry, soon. Stuart, look at this. A goal! 1-0, a fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Very difficult challenge to perform, but he succeeded. And scope for them to produce something exciting. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And possession given away. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. to Mauro Skov Olsen Nicolas Dominguez Arnautovic Ball's gone Brozovic well, Keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them Might be able to produce from this position Now what can Inter do from this position? Skriniar Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Ivan Perisic. Now Dzeko. Vidal. Martinez! What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, here's the replay, and you just have to admire the patience of the passing as they look for that defence-splitting ball. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, Inter have certainly controlled the flow of the game. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Brozovic, now Dzeko, Dumfries, Martinez, oh marvellous save, great goalkeeping, Kevin Bonifazzi, Medel, and the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, an awful lot to like, Stuart, about the performance of Ivan Perisic here. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. A really sumptuous ball and diving to thwart him.
And a short corner, let's see. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Perisic. Chalanolu. And he read it well defensively. Skov Olsen. What can they do from here? Options in the middle. Keeping the ball moving. Svanberg. Superb block. Vidal. Chalanolu. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. It's with Chalanolu. A pass this time for Perisic. And options in the centre. And a throw in forthcoming. And time for the change now. Chalanolu. Able to get his body in the way. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. Could be troublesome. And Jekko's in there. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. Skov Olsen. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Stefano Sensi. The ball with Martinez. Gagliardini. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Perisic. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. But it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Into the final 20 minutes. Gagliardini. Gagliardini has it. Martinez able to get a body in the way. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? And short it is. Dzeko. On the ball, Bastoni. And this is Brozovic. Determined block. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. And return to Brozovic. De Frey. Perisic with the ball. Is he going to put it away? Ten minutes to go. 
it's got to be. Well, such a high degree of difficulty, not quite in the end. Well, how good was that? It's such a difficult piece of skill, which he made look so easy. That deserved a goal. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Roberto Soriano. It comes to absolutely nothing. Well, approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of Mission Impossible for the home side, Stuart. Well, they've had no defensive game plan today. The forwards haven't pressed the ball. The midfield players have been outnumbered, and there is too much space between the defenders at the back. That's been the problem. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Arnautovic, the press was on and it worked. Sanchez, has a go! He's going forward well here, cuts it back. There's the goal! Surely now, that is that! Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Additional minutes. No possibilities in the centre. It's opening up for them. On the ball, Roberto Soriano. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. Well, a hugely influential role played by Lautaro Martinez. Sensational performance from him on all levels. Stuart, what did you make of what you saw? Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win, but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more. Overall, though, I thought he was excellent.